After we've just finished the second read, I want to remind you really quickly of the purpose of today. It's right here. To learn how FDR used the government to get America out of the Great Depression. It's two parts, but on this first part, to learn how he used the government, that's what this first question, which I wanted you guys to discuss after your second read, has to deal with. What specifically does FDR tell Americans the government will do to help them get through the Great Depression. So in just a moment, speak at your table, see what you found after your second read. Remember, when you talk to each other, use the evidence from the text, from the speech. Where did you find the evidence to support the claims that you're making at your table, okay? So go ahead and tackle this question right here after your second read. What specifically does he say the government will do to help us through the Great Depression? Ready, go at your tables. It's mostly right here in paragraph four where it says our greatest primary task is to put people to work. And that's really what he wants to do because he's saying by putting people to work, it brings all these other effects with the agricultural products being raised in prices and that being better. And it'll help us all together as um, our country. And then down here, he was saying we're all interdependent on each other. And I get now how it was talking about the good neighbor. You have to respect yourself and the obligations that you make. So he wants us to rely on each other so that we can pull each other out of this time that we're in right now and attack it together. And that's good. Okay, what else did you other did, did the rest of you guys find with regard to that prompt? What can the government do? the values of agricultural products, um, preventing the tragedy of the growing loss through foreclosure of our small homes and our farms, and unifying the relief activities which today are often scattered, uneconomical and unequal. Okay, good. You underline that. Karina, is that where you found or where did you find the, the answer to this prompt? Um, people put people to work and he wants to do that to like stimulate like, you know, the natural resources that we have in Good. Like industry. Okay. All right. This is what I found. This is what I think you guys are saying. In number four, he kind of introduced what he's saying. I like what Raina found. She found specifically what the government can do. If you reread number five, um, Monique, will you read number five to us? Yes. The task can be helped by definite efforts to, the, to raise the values of agri agricultural products. It can be helped by preventing the tragedy of growing moss through foreclosure of our small homes and our farms. It can be helped by the unifying of relief activities, which today are often scattered, uneconomical, and unequal. We must act and act quickly. Excellent. In that sent in that number five, I think it answered this question: what specifically he can do. So let's do a little annotating, um, just on your paper. Thank you, Reina. Make like a little um, a little bullet point list, find the three or four things, see if you guys can agree on the three or four things that he says specifically what the government can do. All right, let me check in with you guys. What did you say um, to answer this question? What specifically can the government do? Um, make jobs put in the government. So like if we were down? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, that's a good example. Yeah. yeah, that's like when the when the Great Depression first started. Nice, Elva. Yeah, so Specific they, projects, okay? Projects. Just projects to stimulate and recognize the use of our natural resources. Okay, good. That was a number four. Okay, I, I agree with that. That's kind of where he starts it. Where else does he say, or where did you find like specific things the government can do? Um, for the foreclosure, mm -hmm. for the housing. Okay, good. Can you read that line to us, Elva? I mean, I'm sorry, Deca? Um, to help by preventing tragedy for growing loss through foreclosing of our small homes and our farms. Okay, that's in number five. Um, Deca, can you read us number five? And I want all of us to think about making a list of the things that government can specifically do. It's right there, like in number five. Try and make a list as, as Deca reads it out loud. Go ahead, Deca. The task can be helped by the government to raise the values of agriculture pro um, products. It can be helped by preventing tragedies of growing loss through foreclosing of our small homes and our farms. It can help by unifying the relief activities, which is today, which today are often. Uneconomical. Good. 
Okay. What is the first thing he says about what we need to do with agriculture if you're going to make a bullet point list? Uh, raise agriculture prices. Raise agriculture prices. Excellent. So put that on your list if you're annotating on the side. One thing government can do is help to raise agricultural prices. Good. Okay. And then go on and see if you can finish. There should be about two or three more things that he says he can do. We just had a question. Yes, sir. Because we're not really sure what relief activities are. Excellent. Okay, I wanted to discuss that with you guys. And we'll, we'll get to that. Was that the last thing that you put on your list? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. What was the first thing? <clears throat> um, raising the values of agricultural products. Mm -hmm. And what was the second thing? Preventing the foreclosure of our small homes and farms. And then the last part is? Um, Unifying Unif of relief activities. Okay, during the Great Depression, what was some of the relief people? What is relief, by the way? If you give someone relief, like taking some of the stress and taking some of the things off of their plate. Like, taking some off their plate. Beautiful. So if we use that example, what did people have on their plate, or what were they stressed out about during the Great Depression? The stock market. The stock market, money, good. Jobs. Thank you, Karina. Food. 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 What were you saying, Rena? Not eating. Yeah, not eating. Yeah. Like, like the kitchen. Exactly. That, that's a relief activity. Yeah. So read that last line again, Jawan, when he talks about the relief activities. It can be helped by the unifying of relief activities, which today are often scattered, uneconomical, and unequal. Mm -hmm. So what does FDR want to do with the relief activities? He wants to... Bring it all together for everyone to... Unify it. Because you know. how does he describe what's wrong with them now? They're scattered all over the place. and. It's not really organized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how, how could the government do that? What would be the government's role in unifying relief activities? What could they do? Well, how it's saying like they're unequal, they can make them all equal. Like maybe this side gets it better than this side. Maybe make it so they both get the same amount of, you know, of help. Good.